Duke 790 everything on this bike is aggressive the brakes are aggressive the uh, throttle is aggressive I'm sitting right over the front wheel Very planted, very quick. Lots of power. At fairly low revs, if I shift it down, it's very jumpy, very willing to play. One of the rules here is keep both wheels on the pavement, and that is kind of a fun killing rule, but we have to abide. Boy, this thing wants to play. Woo! So this KTM Duke 790 is definitely a bike for having fun on. Like, I'm sitting so far up on this bike that I actually feel like I'm flying. There is no bike in front of me. The speedometer, the, the display, is just, just at the lower portion of my field of vision. And other than that, you could take these mirrors off and put uh, some aftermarket mirrors, like the guy in front of me has. He's got the same bike, but he's got the aftermarket mirrors. Yeah. Stay with the group. And you wouldn't see anything. Wow, it's so light. It might actually feel lighter and more sprightly than uh, Brooks 300cc Honda. I think it does. Except with 100 horsepower. I would be interested if she ever thought of moving up in going in on this bike with her because uh, well, she could just ride it in rain mode and I'd ride it in sport mode like this. Clutch is light, LCD display, very visible. It's overcast today though so I heard it can be hard to see in the sunlight. It's definitely a lower bike with a lower seat height. But man, it just, it exudes fun. Ooh, around that manhole cover. Everything's firm, the suspension is very firm. The uh, position and width of the handlebars, just about perfect for me. I'm six foot tall, it's comfortable, I'm upright. Leaning a little on my wrist, but not much. There's not too much weight on my butt. Gripping the tank with uh, my legs, it's very narrow. It's a nice narrow grip. It's very super motor-y. It's straining at the leash. Just... Wanting to rock and roll. It's a little bit rough pavement here. I'm going over some bumps. I'm feeling them. It's no adventure bike with long travel suspension. This is the uh, 
in-house suspension that KTM makes and it's uh, perfectly acceptable. And man, is this thing... The throttle transitions are a little bit on and off here, but... But it is in sport mode, so you gotta excuse that. Yeah, I'm behaving like a teenager on this thing. It makes you want to behave like a kid. It makes you feel like a kid. No lack of power, that's for sure. It's got as much power as my Moto Guzzi and it's two-thirds the weight. Man, it just disappears underneath you. This is what Superman feels like. Could this bike be relaxed? Probably if I put it in rain mode. Maybe it would feel a little bit more laid back. Although, I kinda have a hard time believing that this bike could ever feel laid back. This, this is not a laid back bike. You're not going to ride this bike just before you want to go to sleep. You definitely shouldn't. This is a fun hooligan bike and I like it. It's got that supermoto right over the front wheel feel. Instant acceleration. It might not be the rip your arms off acceleration of the 1290, but it's uh, plenty fast and light. And if you want to add more fun to a naked bike, add more lightness. Yeah, you know, this, uh, this bike actually does feel like a multi-cylinder. Maybe with a louder pipe, you would be able to distinguish it more. But it's definitely, it revs up so fast and so smoothly, with such a rush of power that if someone told me it was a triple and I wasn't hearing it, I'd believe it. It really, it gives you all the torque with, uh, I got that rush of torque. And when it revs out, unfortunately on a ride like this, I can't really rev it out. Can't really let you know, but yeah, it puts a smile on my face for sure. This might be my number one choice of any naked bike out there. Why? It's so light, so flickable. You hardly feel the weight of this thing. And to think that this thing has 100 plus horsepower is just such a bonus. And it's got lots of uh, safety features. It's got a nine level traction control. It's got the, uh, it's got the ABS. It's lean sensitive too. So if you slam on the brakes in the middle of a turn, the bike knows you're turning when you slam on the brakes. I mean, it's not going to ride the bike for you, but it's nice to have those extra little safety features. Save your butt in case of an emergency. Yeah, the, the engine sounds nice. It has a nice stock exhaust system on it. And I really, as much as I uh, do like the sound of those uh, aftermarket cans, where we ride and uh, in the country where it's nice and peaceful and quiet, People wouldn't appreciate that, so it'd be good to have a stock pipe on a bike. I don't know how much of the bike you're seeing here, because my face is... Basically, the front of my helmet is almost right over where the uh, gas cap is. That's how far forward I'm sitting. And it's not uncomfortable. The 
this idea of sitting on the bike rather than in the bike, it is definitely something I could get used to. I like the shape of the tank. It's kind of futuristic looking, but uh, I gotta say, it works for me. Anyone's respecting the break-in period on these demos. That's one thing that would uh, make me hesitant to buy a demo, knowing that guys like me have ridden it before. Yeah, the brakes come on very quickly at low speeds. So at slow speeds, if you buy this bike, just respect the brakes. It responds to uh, small inputs at the bars very well. It changes lines very well. It holds them and changes them very well. I've been on bikes that just didn't want to hold a line and I've been on bikes that, uh, that held them too well and when you put inputs in, didn't want to change directions. But this one is very good at both. I'm glad the ride leader is letting us play a little bit. It's not just a boring putt-putt, but of course, this is a KTM ride, and so you wouldn't expect it to be boring. I don't think uh, KTM knows the meaning of the word. All right, inner tubes. so... Verdict? If Brooke upgrades and... Uh, And we get a new bike for her ever? Woo! It would be hard to not get this one. Can you ride her? Could pick this up and just learn to ride in, uh, in the softer mode. This bike does have good traction. It hooks up, the rear tire really hooks up with the ground nicely. Yeah, this bike is so super nimble. Look at this. I mean, it's barely any effort to do this. Less effort than with my wife's 300. I don't know how KTM do this. Honestly, it's like magic. It's got to be some sort of magic. That they manage to make a bike this powerful, this light, and quick steering. Sport is a little uncivilized, but that's just the way I like my bikes. This thing can make the uh, can make the world start moving very quickly. So, just coming back from a test ride on the uh, KTM 790 Duke, and man, what a bike! It's nothing like this one. It feels about half the size. It literally is about two thirds the size. And when you're sitting on it, it feels like 
I don't know, it just feels like you're not sitting on anything at all. Ah, it's starting to rain. Nice to have a windshield. Anyways, I was seriously impressed. I've been on naked bikes before and uh, none of them had the combination of lightness and power that that bike had. That bike seems to be in a, I guess it's in a league of two. That bike and probably the Triumph Street Triple are the two bikes that have that much power and at the same time also that are that light and flickable and uh, just quick steering. And man, was I ever impressed by that thing. It was raucous. Because the way it feels in sport mode is, uh, well, let's just say no beginner and no rider who's even just a little bit timid would want to be on that bike in sport mode uh, with, uh, with the full power available. You turn that bike and you just, your throttle hand isn't perfectly smooth in a turn, uh, that bike's like gonna let you know it, that's for sure. That bike is not gonna tolerate bad riding technique and ham-fisted throttle. But, it does have rider modes which soften all that stuff. That's why it has the rain mode. That's why it has all that stuff. So, I definitely see why that bike would be a good one for a wide range of riders. From people who are experienced right down to a fairly novice rider. And also a fairly small rider in stature. Because it is so light. It is so easy to control. It's just amazing. So anyways, here we are going back, thankful for the windshield in the rain. And uh, it's been a fun day in our tubes. Thanks for coming along on the ride. Make sure you watch all my other test ride videos. There'll be lots coming up in the near future. Stay tuned and may the spokes be with you.